Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Diana and we discuss eating a gluten-free, vegan, plant-based lifestyle while sometimes tracking my weight loss journey. So in today's video, I have a product review for you. I'm really excited to try this out. I haven't opened it yet. I've been eating Philadelphia cream cheese my whole life up until I was vegan and I'm excited to finally see it come from social media to my store and now to my home, Philadelphia plant-based cream cheese. I was so excited to finally find this and track it down. I found it in a White's grocery store. I believe Acme has it. I live obviously in the Philadelphia area. Um, I hope that everyone else can find it in their local grocery stores. And I know they do make two other varieties. This is just the original flavor. They make a strawberry, they make an everything bagel type seasoning flavor. I just went with the classic original. Um, so yeah, comment down below if you've gotten to try this yet. Um, if you found it in your store, let someone else know where. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video. I'm super stoked. We have the Philadelphia plant-based cream cheese. <clears throat> I have one of my homemade bagels. I will be releasing the recipe for this eventually, but I, I'm still trying to perfect a few things. Gluten-free dough is very difficult to work with if you've ever tried to do that before. Um, so just be patient with me. I'm considering doing a pre-store-bought bagel. Um, so there's a lot of great gluten-free plant-based bagels out there in the freezer section on your shelves they're great in a pinch i know they're not always the healthiest because they're full of like, preservatives and fillers or if you haven't had time to make another batch of bagels uh, they're sometimes really great to eat so i might do a product review of several different companies that are out there and give you maybe my perspective i've been gluten-free for a long time and which ones i feel like are the best um, but yeah, let's let's get into this video. Okay, so I took the lid off. It's got this foil seal. So here is the first look together at the vegan cream cheese. So it's pretty firm, uh, besides this weird layer on top from the foil, but it's pretty firm to touch. It's kind of interesting. It doesn't have that whipped consistency that I normally see. Comment down below what your favorite vegan cream cheese is right now, your favorite dairy-free cream cheese. Mine, particularly, is Kite Hill. Um, I know they make Doya, Vile Life, Mykonos, I think, makes one. So there's quite a few products on the market. I think Whole Foods even has their own brand, 365. So definitely comment down below what your favorite is. Mine's Kite Hill. I know... Uh, oh, tofu Tofuti makes one too. Let me not forget about them. They make one out of tofu. So this one, I know a lot of you might be asking about the ingredients. Here is the ingredient list. Unfortunately, it is not the cleanest of ingredients, but again, this is from Kraft and Heinz. So what can you really expect from big companies like that, right? So no surprise there, I guess, but um, it's made with water, coconut oil, modified potato starch, fava bean protein, um, you know, it has xanthan gum, bean gum, guar gum, a lot of gums in there, so that's kind of, and a lot of natural flavors. So, hey, otherwise, I'm excited to see how the taste is, the texture, everything. I have my handy dandy bagel knife that's going to help us spread the cream cheese love all over this bagel. This Philadelphia, oh, see this, this little layer here is a little strange. I don't know if that's just... We're going to kind of not do that part, but let's uh, really get in here. So, it, like I said, it's pretty firm. Let me cream cheese up a piece of the bagel. So we're going to take the cream cheese out. I do like a nice layer on my bagel. Okay, so this is what we look like, all right, on the bagel. We got the cream cheese on. Now it's going to be the taste test. Okay, so I'm ready for this taste test. Ready? Hmm. I need to take another bite. I'm trying to figure out now. Okay, so 
it has a very creamy taste to it. It actually reminds me of Borsan plant-based cheese or any of maybe like the Laughing Cow. It has that big milky creamy flavor to it. Because the cream cheese is so creamy, I actually would even suggest using it on a charcuterie board or a cheese board. I could see maybe using the cream cheese, maybe some other ingredients, I'm not sure yet, and formulating them into some kind of like cheese or cheese ball because it had that, like I said, Borsan cheese kind of consistency. I guess you could also even use it maybe for like cream cheese frosting or any kind of creamy pasta dishes. I do use cream cheeses a lot to cook with for pasta dishes and other sauces. So maybe keep that in mind as well. It was fine on a bagel, but it, like I said, it did have that very rich creamy taste to it. And I'm not sure some people might find it off putting for something for breakfast on a bagel, if you catch my drift. So that's the only other note I wanted to make. I actually was very pleasantly surprised. I think it tastes a lot like cream cheese. I'm trying to remember Philadelphia cream cheese and, you know, I feel like it stands up to what Philadelphia cream cheese is. It's a very big creamy flavor and I think they did a great job. It does have a little bit of those notes of a plant-based cream cheese. Um, if you've tried some of the other varieties like Kite Hill, Daya, things like that, I think you kind of know what I mean. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. Um, I'd definitely buy it again. I, I think if you gave it to anyone, put the cream cheese on the bagel and handed it to them, I don't think that they would, you know, think it was bad. I think, like I said, it has a big creamy milky feel to it, um, which is impressive in my opinion. And I think that um, they would really enjoy it as well. They might not think it's Philadelphia cream cheese. Maybe they would, or maybe they would just say, hey, this cream cheese is really good. Or like, whose is it? Um, so yeah, I would definitely try it again. Um, the only thing I thought was a little strange, like I said, and maybe it's just the package, maybe it's just the packaging, like I said, was a little weird with the foil part on top that this film <laughs> uh, part of the cream cheese, I mean, maybe it'll just taste fine. I didn't taste that part. And like I said, it was a little weird. It was pretty firm. Now that it's been sitting out on the counter, it is kind of like softening up a little, but it is still kind of spongy and firm to the touch. It was easy to spread it though, so that wasn't an issue. Definitely check it out. If you get a chance and you see it in your grocery store, I think you won't be disappointed. It was very tasty. Thank you all for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like what you saw, and as always, stay driven.